गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अशोक शर्मा आई एम रीजनल डायरेक्टर एट इग्नो रीजन सेंटर दहली वन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस माई अपोलॉजीज फॉर स्टार्टिंग लिटिल बिट लेट बिकॉज आई सडनली हैड टू अटेंड वन अर्जेंट मीटिंग ऑफ आवर इग्नो हेडक्वार्टर सो दैट इज वाई वी वुड स्टार्ट लेट I express my apologies and I feel sorry for that for starting late and uh, keeping you uh, waiting for half an hour extra for this thing. So, uh, dear students, uh, now uh, without wasting our uh, further time, I would like to first of all I would like to welcome you all. Uh, today uh, we have uh, uh, invited you uh, the students of five certificate level programs. Uh, this is uh, a Spanish language program. Uh, then uh, arabic language program students french language program students russian language program students and rural development certificate level program of our igno uh, who have taken admission in the online programs in january 2022 session so uh, we have today uh, the program coordinators of these programs are also with us and one by one i will be uh, inviting them and requesting them to uh, kindly uh, present their uh, details of their program as well as their courses uh, just to give you a very brief of this thing uh, today uh, because we have invited five uh, programs students and these all are certificate level programs and you might be already aware of that these certificate level programs these are having minimum duration of 6 months and maximum duration of 2 years you might have got these details in your common prospectus and you might have already gone through your program details either uh, through our igno website or through our common prospectus but uh, very briefly very briefly uh, these these certificate level programs uh they are either ranging from two courses to maximum four courses for example in our spanish language certificate level program there are only two courses our arabic language program it also has only two courses our russian language program it also has just two courses our rural development program has three courses and our french language program has four courses so uh now uh, i will be uh, inviting our uh, program coordinators who basically are the faculty at our igno headquarters in various schools and you might be aware of that these programs are offered by various schools of igno so my colleagues are presently here with me and i would like to start with dr vikas kumar singh ji he is an expert of spanish language and he is program coordinator of our cslc program and we have a very wonderful experience with dr vikas kumar singh because our regional center delhi one was the nodal center for spanish language in july 2021 session also and with the kind cooperation of dr vikas singh we very successfully conducted the academic counseling sessions for our learners of spanish language we recorded all the sessions conducted by the expert and later on we uploaded those recordings of our spanish language program on our regional center's youtube channel also which now any student who wants to learn the spanish language these videos can be watched by any one so uh, i welcome dr vikas kumar singh sir you are most welcome and i thank you for your valuable time and now i request you to please guide us and our students regarding this program various courses and how they are going to uh, learn and uh, uh, learn uh, this spanish language uh, in the certificate level program kindly guide us sir i invite you i request you sir thank you dr vikas thank you so much thank you so much sir uh, for your kind words am i audible yes yes sir yes sir yes, you are audible sir. wonderful wonderful so uh, so i welcome all the students who have enrolled for this online certificate program in spanish language and culture so what we are going to do today in this brief session is just to get to know each other yeah 
and i understand that in this session we have students of other languages and other courses as well so let me before i start talking about this program its details let me give you four expressions which all of you can learn whether you you are a student of russian french arabic or you are doing any other course and the very first expression as a student of languages or foreign language you should know is hola hola hello so can we can we say hola 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 okay hola yeah hola okay great and the second expression that i teach you is bienvenido welcome bienvenido welcome so i welcome all of you to this online certificate program in spanish language and culture course the third expression which you will find useful is how you can introduce yourself very simple any one of you who would want to introduce yourself to any spanish speaking person you would say yo soy yo soy vikas yo soy vikas so you can simply say for example yes. if vinoy has to say it, he will say yo soy vinoy yo soy abhimanyu right got it yo soy right? sima yo yes. soy soy shantanu yo soy prasina okay soy profesor de español soy profesor de español i am spanish teacher soy profesor and in your case you will say soy estudiante soy estudiante okay so these are just four expressions that i wanted to give you in today's session so that you can get the flair of this language how it sounds okay so in this certificate level spanish language and culture course this program will help you particularly to discover one of the world's most widely spoken languages which is spanish yes. and its yes. fascinating cultures people of the spanish speaking world as you know that spanish is not only spoken in spain but in latin america 19 latin american countries be it the north american countries in mexico or the central american and the caribbean countries or the south american countries except brazil where portuguese is spoken as sir was rightly saying this program has two courses each course is of worth 8 credits okay the first course is basics of spanish language and culture 1 and the second is basics of spanish language and culture 2 okay so this course the first course you should begin with the very first course and as you complete the first course then only you should proceed to the second course because it is developed in a very progressive manner the first course which deals with the even level competency of the language as per the common european framework of references it gives you an elementary level knowledge of the language once you have completed the first course then you start studying the second course which is the basics of spanish language and culture too and if you notice in the first course we have used the bilingual approach okay english and spanish all the time there is more emphasis on the use of spanish but then we have used english as the medium of instruction as you progress in the course in the second course basics of spanish language and culture too you will find more and more uses of spanish okay you will find very less use of the english which is the medium of instruction okay so in the second course you will find we are using more spanish and what is spanish in spanish it's called el español okay and as i was telling you earlier el español that is spanish it is spoken over a huge geographical area okay spanish is very easy to learn because it belongs to the indo european family of languages okay and when if you want to talk about the spanish language historically if you try to see its origin you will find that spanish originated in the iberian peninsula okay if you remember the world map spain and portugal it was one as iberian peninsula so it emerged as a dialect of spoken latin and it was brought to the iberian peninsula by the romans and therefore many people 
call this language that is spanish as the romance language okay in this group of language you will find other languages for example french you will find italian you will have portuguese galician catalan and romanian so these are all the romance languages and the dialect that you will study in this course which we consider dominant in europe is called castellano and this course will not only introduce you to the peninsular variant of the spanish but also the you know uh, the latin american variant okay because spanish is not only spoken in spain but in 19 countries of latin america as you are aware those of you who have studied history you you would know that uh, the diversification of the castilian language uh, continued with the spanish colonization of the americas no americas was colonized by 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 the spaniards and due to this diversification Uh, you will find there are significant differences between the peninsular spanish that is the spanish spoken in spain and that of the spanish spoken in latin america and this course particularly these two courses will introduce you to some of the different varieties obviously being the beginners level course it does not allow you to uh, learn all the linguistic varieties but it will it will give you a brief idea about the linguistic diversities and as you have already i think you those of you who have enrolled you know that this is the second largest number of uh, native speakers in in the world spanish has the second largest native speakers in the world with more than 480 million uh, native speakers okay it is only uh, i think second to mandarin chinese in terms of uh, the most spoken languages in the world and uh, if you see the recent data more than 585 90 million people are speaking spanish uh, in the world as on date and it is the official language of the 22 countries be it in europe the caribbean south america central america and north america as i told you earlier it is also the second official language uh, for international communication second most studied language after french and mandarin uh, mandarin of is nowadays mandarin you will see uh, that more and more people are opting for mandarin chinese but in terms of uh, the number of students who are opting to learn spanish if you see the worldwide data uh, there are approximately 22 million students studying this language so you belong to you know that 22 23 million students who are learning this language as a foreign language in around 107 countries so you belong to that bigger cosmo of of learners no and as i was telling you this is one of the international languages of of many international organizations like the un uh, wto who so this program you will uh, you know find that it starts with a conversational spanish okay mm -hmm. starting with very spanish basics spanish greetings then you will have uh, how to talk about uh, nationalities how to talk about one's profession then you will have uh, modules which talks about how to talk in in an office environment or if you are studying in a school how to talk about your uh, school your subjects that you study then once you finish the first uh, module it will come to the next module which is about family and friends there you will learn how to talk about your family in spanish how to talk about your uh, friends how to describe your friends both the inherent uh, quality and the external quality uh, using the adjectives in spanish and this program uh, which is uh, the at the certificate level it will introduce you to the basic spanish okay and remember that being a basic level course it will allow you to communicate effectively in situations related to immediate needs or daily needs okay for example you are traveling you are at the airport you are in a hotel so it will give you some competency to interact in day to day activities okay and it will also provide you some information about uh, the cultures of the spanish speaking countries so you will find information about the the foods the festivals important personalities from the hispanic world so you'll find all that information because learning a language is not just about learning the language you should know also about the culture okay and at the end the idea is to develop some sort of intercultural competency in you as a learner no 
and uh, in throughout the course uh, we have planned uh, the activity in such a way that from the very beginning itself you will be able to work on all the four linguistic uh, or the language uh, competencies be it the reading comprehension writing listening comprehension and speaking and for this so that you are able to develop all these four skills you will find in in the e tutorials and also in the e text you will find a wide range of activities okay besides the activities that you will find in your e text you will also have the opportunity to have synchronous counseling which means interactive live lectures or mentoring okay besides me you have three more uh, tutors uh, of spanish uh, who have joined in our session today uh, amrit raj tanvishri patra and uh, mayank okay so these three tutors they will be uh, you know hand holding you to learn uh, this foreign language besides the asynchronous counseling which is the interactive live sessions you will have also access to asynchronous mentoring okay what does asynchronous mentoring means for example you will have access to discussion forums okay you will have access to offline mentoring so you can post your queries in the discussion forum you can post your uh, offline uh, activities and our tutors will be there to respond to all your queries and help you understand help you learn this language as i was telling you in the beginning that once you have completed these two courses basics of spanish language and culture 1 on basics for spanish language and culture 2 you should be able to attain a 2.1 level of language proficiency okay those of you who are familiar with the proficiency levels as per the common european framework of references you should have attained a 2.1 level of proficiency okay so this was all about some you know some basic information about about the program the courses but since there are other students who are also present in 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 today's session uh, students of arabic russian uh, french let me give you all some important learning tips you know as a as a learner of foreign languages and these are you know general guidance on learning a foreign language and you should pay attention uh, to these you know uh, tips uh, before you begin to uh, study these programs no so as i was telling you in the beginning that besides the video tutorials your learning will be supported throughout by means of self learning material in form of e text okay so you will have the support of e text also it is very important that you do all the activities given in the e text material okay there will be two types of uh, activities that you will find in the study material in the e text one open ended questions and second closed ended questions answers of the closed ended questions you will find at the end of the of the unit of the end of the e text material and the open ended questions you can discuss them with your tutors during the synchronous and asynchronous counseling and it is very important that you do these activities in a progressive manner because it will help you to reflect on whether you have actually understood the content or whether you still need to work on certain topics and as i was telling you earlier that these activities they are very carefully they are you know very carefully designed uh, and it will enable you to also monitor your progress and it will help you to consolidate the the, the content in a you know manageable step so you should try to work through each module in a systematic and progressive manner it's not like that you should start studying the course 2 directly first you should study course 1 okay starting with module 1 and once you have finished module 1 then only you should move to the next module contains okay unless you have finished the previous module learning resources do not jump to the next okay because they are all interlinked okay and remember uh, these tutorials that through e synchronous or asynchronous uh, modes that will be made available to you or in form of e text you will be introduced to new words structures in spanish and these are obviously 
uh, new words in foreign languages, structures in foreign languages. And you, it is very important that you practice them. Okay. Only by practicing them, you will be able to, uh, you know, produce similar language until you develop the capacity to work autonomously. Okay. So it is important that you, you repeat. Okay. You repeat. If you don't understand uh, every word, you don't worry. You don't need to understand every word to, to, to get the message, uh, for instance, while you are reading a text or while you are listening. Okay. It is, it is important that you participate in the, in the structured activities, which are, which are there in the e-text, uh, which have been designed to develop your linguistic competence. And also very important, though this is an online course, online program, it is very important that you keep a notebook. Okay. I insist you, you should, you must keep a notebook where you should jot down what you have learned or revise or reflect on some of the grammatical structures that you have encountered during the tutorials or while going through the e-text. And you should regularly work in your own time to reproduce the pronunciation. Okay. For instance, in during the synchronous uh, counseling sessions, all of you may not get the opportunity to, to practice the pronunciation, but then you will have access to the recorded lectures as Sir was telling you. Listen to them, repeat, reproduce, okay? So learning a foreign language is all about reproduction, okay? Reproduction by memorization. So it is important that you repeat and speak out loud, okay? So if you remember in the beginning, I was when I was teaching you how to say hello in Spanish, I was speaking it loud. Hola. No, you should Hola. So if you read it loud, then only you will memorize these new words, new structures in a foreign language. Rather than, you know, uh, thinking all the time in your head that, oh, I know this expression or I know that structure. Even if you know, while interacting with a native speaker, it will not come to you in your active memory, right? So these are some of the tips that I wanted to give you in, in today's interaction and in the subsequent interactions that uh, we will have, we will talk in detail about all these aspects and also about the language. So if you have any other questions, uh, I'm open for, for questions or if you are planning to take the questions towards the end of the session, uh, that is uh, up to you, sir, uh, the format that you have decided. So I welcome all of you once again happy learning and uh, hope that we all together will enjoy learning this new language which is spanish okay and i will also learn something from all of you thank you so much muchas gracias muchas gracias thank you thank you sir. thank you thank you, thank you, so, so. Much. Thank you sir yeah and, and, uh, thank you so much and sir. i am very and I am very glad to inform all the present students as well as our teachers that we have got 27 learners in our Spanish language program. Now I would like to request uh, our next speaker, Dr. Shivaji Bhasar, who is an expert of Russian language. And we have got, and we have got 55 learners in our uh, a Russian language program. So I invite and I request Dr. Shivaji Bhaskar sir to kindly make his presentation. Uh, questions we will take uh, after the presentations of our resource persons. Good Dr. afternoon. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity, sir. I'm uh, deeply thankful for RC Delhi 1 to take this initiative of, uh, you know, combining all the online programs specifically offered by our school that is School of Foreign Languages. And I'm happy to see that uh, the many learners who have taken CRUL online program. We also have with us today our uh, uh, Russian consultant, Dr. Janani Vaidyanathan. And uh, regarding this program, we started this program in January 2020. And uh, most of you must be getting the updates through our learning management system, that is LMS which is uh, created by Center for Online Education. So there are certain points which you need to remember about the program that it has two courses. Each course is of eight credits and uh, they have to pass each course as well as 
to have to attend the online quizzes which is there in the lms itself there is no separate assignment for you so please do understand that uh, unlike uh, open and distance learning program where you download the assignment and send it to your study center through post or you know send it or give it by hand and then it is evaluated it's a long process in online mm -hmm. this is the advantage that you need not to go anywhere and the entire curriculum transaction is online right from the admission to the evaluation and certification so please do remember that first thing you have to check and check with your uh, teachers with the uh, renal center with the coe that whether uh, e content is available on the lms or not number one that you can also download from uh, e gyan kosh number two whether the videos which belong to your particular course are available on the lms or not in the case of russian we have already uploaded it the e content is very much available on e gyan kosh as well as in pdf format it is available on the learning management system and another important aspect that for specific inquiry related to our crul online program please do send your queries to a specific email that is crul at the rate igno.ac.in so instantly your queries will be resolved as well as please do join us on our facebook group on facebook we have 500 plus members over there and uh, it is very interactive all kinds of information related to the program regarding scholarships regarding study tours summer and winter camps in russia and uh, seminar conferences webinars we upload all the information over there so it is one stop place for all of you to get the information from another important thing is that youtube videos are already available on our youtube channel we will be sharing the link with rc delhi 1 as well as uh, through you through our google groups which will be created soon and then you can access all online content e content uh, video tutorials as well as audio videos which we have created for crun learners because whether it is odl or online the content is same only the pedagogy is different because in online we conduct the session through online lms that is learning management system suppose if you don't have the access to lms please do write to us and then we will send the query to uh, coe for generating the online login credentials that means login id and password for you so that you get all the information instantly you need not to make the phone call you need not to send separate email everything is there for all of us for all of you on the lms is a dedicated dedicated learning management portal system created by coe for you to learn it properly another important thing is that uh, you know you know already 70 Uh, 70 years plus we have the diplomatic relations with russia and you will find this beautiful language very similar to some of the aspects of sanskrit the grammar is very similar uh, very similar to hindi and that is why some of the words you will recognize the grammar as well as the phonetics so it is very beautiful language you would learn as far as the opportunities are concerned that you can go for higher education in russia in central asia and commonwealth of independent states for pursuing higher education for startup and for attracting investment in india you can work in pharmaceutical companies it sector gems and jewelry carpet industry and what not and for people from the defense there is a huge procurement we do from russia so whether we do joint mm -hmm. productions like whether we go for the delegation interpretation and all so russia opens up new avenues and there is a lot of new avenues coming up so all of you have uh, you know uh, good access and good opportunity in future after learning the basics you can continue uh, your uh, journey of learning this language we are going to offer ma in russian also very soon that you can also keep in mind and join the program uh, maybe uh, this year or maybe the next year as soon as we offer the program and please be in touch there is you know uh, covid has given us this opportunity to be in touch online and uh, i am very thankful to rc delhi uh, one to you know initiate this process so that all of us can meet online interact online and as far as learning is concerned 
and evaluation is concerned there are a lot of tools we have with us so that we can evaluate instantly we can send it back so please do join us and please be in touch and we will be sharing the schedule online counseling schedule with you we have good uh, number of uh, academic uh, counselors with us and uh, by learning russian i am definitely sure that not only you will be learning a new language very soon with the opening of the tourism sector again you will be having good option of joining the workforce there are a lot of another new opportunities coming up so that you can join the you know government's uh, new education policies uh, where skill has been given a uh, important aspect so it is uh, learning a foreign language that uh, to that uh, russian will definitely give you a new skill and i am sure that uh, with this you would uh, definitely not only going to learn a new language like russian but you would also learn how to appreciate new culture uh, you know the architecture the language the art and russia russian civilization is old and uh, the people to people contact is very uh, very deep so that is why uh, learning this language will open up new avenues for you uh, with this i would like to uh, thank sir and every each one of you for giving this opportunity and joining this uh, beautiful uh, online interaction and if you have any queries please do write to us on sofl or shivaji bhaskar or crul at the rate ignu.ac.in i'll be sharing the links uh, to with rc delhi 1 and they will share it further thank you so much sir thank you everyone thank you so much sir and we have got 55 students in our this russian language certificate level program uh, dear students uh, there is one thing common in our three languages we have already talked about two languages spanish language as well as russian language and now we are going to talk about our third language certificate level program arabic language and one thing is common among these three programs all these three language programs are of two credits i'm sorry uh, two courses all these three programs they consist of two courses and each course is consisting of eight credits so for one course we will be uh, conducting at least 10 academic counseling sessions for you so uh, two courses are there in these three languages spanish language program russian language program as well as in arabic language program and one course one course uh, is uh, of eight credits so both both the courses are going to be of uh, eight credits each and for eight credits course we are conducting about 10 counseling sessions so you will be having enough exposure and you will be having enough counseling sessions for interacting with your expert academic counselors and learning these languages our main emphasis and our main attempt will be on developing a high level proficiency among our students in using these languages so uh, now i invite and i request dr mohammad salim sir uh, who is the program coordinator as well as who will be the academic counselor for your arabic language certificate level program dr mohammad salim sir most welcome uh thank you uh, sir thank for you. Uh, inviting me marhaban bikum jamian masa al khair good evening to everyone uh, i am dr mohammad salim uh, here uh, coordinating arabic program and uh, welcome to all the learners who have joined uh, this session uh, this uh, uh, january session and hope that this uh, arabic learning becomes really very exciting and a uh, you know, wonderful experience for you we have plenty of things for you e content recorded video lectures which i myself along with uh, many eminent experts have uh, recorded and uploaded uh, you know uh, arabic uh, uh, videos so you can access all these videos and benefit from that uh, then uh, we have quizzes uh, for you so that you can practice your learning and it will help you consolidate your learning you will have direct opportunity to uh, directly contact with us and uh, uh, we will be uh, try we will mentor you we will guide you and give you all the necessary support for you know learning arabic language uh, 
the good thing is that uh, uh, most of learners who are you know fresh and want to join arabic language think that it's very difficult it will be not uh, easy for me to learn arabic language all that but here you will uh, uh, find uh, you know a very um, good experience uh, where you will uh, see that uh, learning arabic is fun here uh, you will uh, see that um, you have enough you will bring you in a comfort zone you will uh, feel that uh, so many important or common arabic or common arabic words you know you already use in your daily life situations you know enough of the words but you do not know that you know these words so certainly you will uh, feel uh, you know after couple of sessions you will feel very much comfortable and you will find that this any learning arabic uh, is a good experience for you uh, second thing is uh, i am here uh, with you always since i was involved in the process of designing developing both the odl program and converting it in, into online uh, mode and uh, i myself have recorded more than 80 videos which are uploaded you know on the pl platform and you can easily access those videos so uh, you will uh, have opportunity to interact you know uh, with me and i am always available for you uh, uh, apart from the weekly sessions Uh, most of the time we form groups in fact the student do even join the group some of the students who know the arabic language they guide other students so it is uh, really uh, you know a good a joint uh, learning venture for all of you sometimes i do not know much um, uh, we will discover later on uh, uh, whether students from <clears throat> other countries have also joined in the previous batch we had students from gulf countries uh, some students who are working there so uh, and most of them Uh, do pick up arabic language to some extent some of them are able to speak colloquial language so that you know helps our students here because uh, they themselves start guiding our students and they become a great learning support system for you okay so apart from all these learning support system that we have here and all the uh, you know support in the form of videos uh, you know uh, e content and quizzes and personal tutoring and guidance all that you have you know some students from gulf countries who are able to you know help you to some extent so uh you can have a good you know um, uh, 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 relationship you can have a good uh, you know uh, opportunity for to 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 learn and exchange uh, you know your learning so that is also uh, um, a good thing i have noticed in the even past and hope that this session also has some students from there now <clears throat> coming to the uh, evaluation part and other things okay uh, you will uh, of course be submitting your uh, quizzes uh, in the form of assignments and uh, everything is online you need not worry about anything you have to uh, do you know sit in the exam even online and some exam will be online and uh, our counseling session our guidance everything will be online so you can uh, take your time even you can record our lectures and uh, you know listen it later on and uh, learn the language so uh, plenty of the things are there for you hope that uh, this you know learning experience becomes really you know exciting journey for you and you enjoy arabic learning so best wishes for you and welcome you all for this arabic learning program thank you thank you so much sir thank you sir and uh, i am glad to inform you sir that we have got 52 learners in our arabic language certificate level program 52 learners uh it is a very good number and we are very uh, happy to have this number of students with us in our this certificate level program and we are hopeful that uh, this number will increase in every forthcoming sessions thank you so much sir thanks for your time and your guidance uh dear students now i would like to thank you sir uh, now i would like to invite uh, dr balkar singh Uh, he is our program coordinator of certificate level program in rural development crd uh, dr balkar singh ji please yes sir uh, no, sir we have got, sir we have got 28 students in our crd online program 28 thanks. students thank thanks, you sir thanks thanks sir sabhi ko namaskar dr ashok sharma ji pavan ki puri aaj se delhi ki puri team ko or 28 student who is enroll in our certificate program welcome all first of all uh, we discuss about the certificate program benefit the for the student and course structure and uh, other activity counseling assignment and remedy examination 
तो सबसे पहले तो स्वागत है जिन्होंने ग्रामीण विकास प्रमाण पत्र में अपनी रुचि दिखाई है अपना दाखिला लिया है और बधाई के पात्र हैं आज से दिल्ली जिन्होंने सबसे ज्यादा एनरोलमेंट पूरे देश में किसी भी रीजनल सेंटर में होते रहे हैं और हमारा चाहे गुयाना का हो चाहे ऑनलाइन का हो आज से दिल्ली वन हमारा नोडल सेंटर रहा है काउंसलिंग के लिए असाइनमेंट के लिए अदर एक्टिविटीज के लिए तो सबसे पहले हम बताना चाहेंगे छ महीने का कोर्स है इसमें तीन पेपर होते हैं तीनों कंपलसरी एरिज थ्री पेपर आर कंपलसरी पर पेपर सिक्स क्रेडिट टोटल प्रोग्राम इज एट इन क्रेडिट इन फर्स्ट पेपर फोर ब्लॉक एंड पर ब्लॉक फोर यूनिट सिक्सटीन यूनिट इन ए पेपर टोटल एटीन इन टोटल थ्री पेपर सिक्सटीन ब्लॉक एंड फोर्टी एट यूनिट इन टोटल कोर्सेज पूरे पेपर के अंदर अड़तालीस इसमें यूनिट है और इसमें बारह ब्लॉक है इसके लिए मैं चाहूंगा कि हमने असाइनमेंट अपलोड कर दिया अभी अपलोड द असाइनमेंट ऑन दी ऑनलाइन वेबसाइट एंड कंटेंट आर अपलोड ऑन द वेबसाइट आप स्टडी मटेरियल देख लीजिएगा पहले पेपर को असाइनमेंट डाल कर लीजिएगा यदि असाइनमेंट का पैटर्न बताएं कि सौ नंबर का असाइनमेंट असाइनमेंट ऑफ भी हंड्रेड नंबर दसाइनमेंट ऑन डिस्क्रेप्टिव डिस्क्रेप्टिव टाइप फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फोर्टी मार्क्स एंड अदर टू क्वेश्चन ऑफ फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन मार्क्स एंड फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिक्स मार्क्स टोटल हंड्रेड मार्क्स असाइनमेंट यू हैव प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम द स्टडी मटेरियल एंड दी अदर रिसोर्स ऑफ द रूरल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम एंड प्लानिंग आप इग्नो का स्टडी मटेरियल जो विश्व में बेस्ट है उसको देख सकते हैं इसके अलावा आपको लगता है कहीं से अच्छे से मिल सकता है उससे भी आप हल कर सकते हैं आपकी काउंसलिंग का शेड्यूल आर सी दिल्ली बना दिया जाएगा यदि फिर भी किसी प्रकार की कोई दिक्कत आती है मैं आदरणीय अशोक शर्मा से चाहूंगा कि सभी बच्चों के यदि व्हाट्सएप नंबर मिल जाए तो हम चाहेंगे ग्रुप क्रिएट कर दिया जाए या किसी बच्चे को असाइनमेंट एग्जाम फिल फॉरम अदर सर्टी मटेरियल किसी तरह क्यूरी हो तो मेरी मेल आईडी और मेरा व्हाट्सएप नंबर अशोक शर्मा जी आपको ए, सभी को भेज देंगे और मुझे भी मैं चाहूंगा कि जो लिस्ट है एनरोलमेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट प्लीज सेंड मी और हम ये चाहेंगे कि जो काउंसलिंग शेड्यूल होगा उसी कॉपी होगी साथ में मैं भी चाहूंगा कि उस काउंसलिंग शेड्यूल में जुड़ जाए किसी प्रकार की क्यूरी एडक्वाड से संबंधित हो या असाइनमेंट संबंधित हो तो हम उसको दूर कर सके यदि किसी का कोई सवाल जवाब है इसके बाद मेरा मोबाइल नंबर आप इसमें सभी बच्चों को भेज दिया जाएगा ईमेल आईडी है कंटिन्यू संपर्क में रहेंगे इफ एनी प्रॉब्लम प्लीज कॉल मी व्हाट्सएप एंड ईमेल एट एनी टाइम वेलकम आर स्टूडेंट थैंक यू सो मच डियर डॉक्टर थैंक यू सो मच uh this has been a very uh, brief and very wonderful presentation uh, giving all information about your different courses blocks and units and the offer of your support by sharing your mobile number and your email address this is a very welcome gesture on your part and we are thankful to you and uh, from rc side we will also provide you the complete list of uh, these uh, 28 students Uh, who have got enrolled in crd online program thank you so much sir and uh, dear students uh, now uh, fifth program of our today's this induction meeting uh, it is a certificate level program in french language and 42 students have got enrolled in this program uh, by chance uh, our program coordinator uh, dr dipanvita shrivastava madam uh, she is busy in some official work at igno headquarters and she could not uh, attend this google meeting but uh, i am i am sharing the program details with you uh, by sharing my uh, screen uh, just kindly give me a few seconds 
and i will be uh, sharing uh, the program details with you all kindly let me know when you start seeing my screen is it visible is it visible can you see the program details on your screen yes that sir yes yes assert kindly mute yourself please please mute yourself uh, so uh, dear students uh, are you able to watch this uh, screen uh, cfl program details yep yes sir. yes sir yes sir okay okay uh, thank you thanks for confirming uh, so uh, dear students uh, the name of the program coordinator of cfl program is dr dipan vita shrivastav and uh, she is the program coordinator of our this certificate in french language program which is being offered by our school of foreign languages and uh, you may be able to see this table here on your screen uh, this has total four courses this program has total four courses and each course is of three credits actually in igno system uh, one credit is equivalent to 30 hours of studies Uh, this is a technical term credits is a technical term and what does a credit mean simply is that that this one course has been designed in such a way that our students learn this course for approximately 90 hours one credit is equivalent to 30 hours of studies so three credits simply means 3 multiplied by 30 hours each credit so 90 hours of study so uh, this way uh, total four courses are there and each course consists of 30 credits so uh, first course is talking about oneself second course will deal with interaction third course will deal with space and fourth course will deal with the time and you all will be having uh, notes uh, from our side and uh, uh, at the screen uh, you can see the name of program coordinator dr deepanita shrivastava and her email address is here uh, d w e p a n at the rate igno.ac.in and her landline number is also available here on the screen uh, i have taken these details from our uh, igno common prospectus and you can also download it from our igno website it is readily available at our igno website so uh, this is about uh, our french language program and uh, we have uh, we have invited uh, our academic counselors also today to attend this program and uh, i saw on my screen uh, that our spanish language expert mr mank was also uh, uh, there uh, with us in this meeting uh, mr mank now i would like to invite our academic counselors to kindly uh, introduce yourself and kindly have interaction with our learners mr mayank uh, mr mayank are you there mr mayank mr amrit raj mr tanvi shri patra these are academic counselors of our spanish language program hello yes yes mr amrit raj yes please uh, yeah, yes sir am am i audible sir yes you are audible kindly uh, uh, switch on your camera please for a minute yes you are most welcome yes. yes sir so thank you sir for giving me this opportunity and i would also like to welcome all my spanish students uh uh so uh, as an academic counselor and evaluator for this session i will be uh, basically working with uh, uh, basics of spanish language and culture 2 which is the second module and uh, i hope that we have a wonderful learning session ahead because as we say that learning a foreign language
perhaps uh, there is some network issue on his part. Uh, if he joins again, then we will request him to share his views. Uh, yes, he is back. Kindly unmute yourself. Kindly unmute. Ha. So, sir, I was saying that uh, I am I'm, I'm really uh, hopeful that we will be having a wonderful learning session ahead with all my Spanish students. And uh, uh, learning a foreign language is really a, a different kind of journey, a very interesting kind of journey. Because as it is said that learning a uh, foreign language is like having a second soul. So one soul you have in your native language. And uh, the second soul you acquire when you learn a, a foreign language, you come to learn about its culture, you come to learn about uh, its literature, and you come to know about people, the diversity of uh, human uh, population. So I hope uh, that it will be a wonderful learning experience for all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, dear Daksar. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, dear students, uh, uh, if you remember, I introduced Dr. Muhammad Salim, uh, who is our Arabic language expert. Uh, he is the program coordinator as well as your academic counselor. Uh, so Salim Saab, uh, would you like to uh, come again online? Muhammad Salim Saab. Yes. For a minute. Yes, please. Yeah, I have one. I have one doubt regarding the Spanish course. Yes, please wait. Please wait for a few minutes. We will uh, take your questions one by one. Okay. Wow. You can't hear me, did you? Because I was attending the class. How are you talking about it? Dear students, now I would like to invite Mr. Mani Bhushan Sharma. Uh, he is our French language expert. Mr. Mani Bhushan Sharma he is our academic counselor of French language. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, please. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, to give me, uh, me this chance. And I am Mani Bhushan Sarma. I have been teaching since 2002 in Delhi. Basically. Hello. Uh, yes, please. You are audible. Audible, sir. Yes, you are audible. Yes, yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, you are audible. We are able to listen to you. Yes. yes. And thank you so much to all of you. I hope my class will be very interesting to Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for kindly introducing yourself. Uh, now, I would like to invite our Russian language expert, Dr. Janani, madam. Okay, most most welcome, sir. Most welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sir. Yes, Janani, I hope madam. I'm... Hello, sir. Thanks for giving me this opportunity and uh, I welcome all the learners, the online mode learners. I don't call them students because uh, they have to self-study. Mm, that is the motto of the university and uh, it is learners oriented program. This should be in mind of each and every student that a teacher will not sit or stand with a stick behind you to make you learn something. Uh, you're provided with the self-learning material, but of course you have the self-learning materials with you, but uh, your counseling sessions will soon start, which will help you uh, through your journey of learning Russian as well as other foreign languages, I am sure. And as far as uh, Russian is concerned, it's a very sweet language as our coordinator sir, has already told you. And uh, I think uh, it's, uh, it's something uh, when you start learning the language, you feel that you know it already. Most of the things like uh, the grammar part, like you have the 
case system in our uh, various Indian languages, it, it looks like a combination of everything in one nutshell. Uh, that is why when you start learning uh, Russian, you will start learning your own mother tongue also. Uh, that is, uh, uh, I can tell you, I can vouch for this statement because I myself learned my uh, uh, mother tongue so well that uh, uh, Russian um, was coming into me and I could learn uh, the language. And I learned the language through uh, the distant mode, I can say. The first few years was certificate, diploma, and so on. Then I went on to learn my MA, that is master's through uh, ODL, the distant mode, um, where uh, these days you have the online, the YouTubes. And uh, those days, uh, fortunate or unfortunate, I can say, uh, both are there in my case where uh, I had to uh, tune on to the radio and uh, tune on to the short wavelength, which uh, was never audible at all. Uh, I could hear uh, Rush and then uh, K, and then I couldn't make out what I was listening to. But I used to tune in and tune in, and finally I, I could listen to some broadcasts of the Russian language or the Russian news and something, uh, some way back... Uh, I can say 15, 30, 37 years back when I started learning the language. I am sure you can also do it very well. Dabro of Pajalavats, that is what is welcome. I welcome you all uh, to the course. I think I can guide you through, counsel you through the course. And please don't expect that a teacher will make you open your mouth and say, ah, but you open your mouth and say, ah, and then come out with the question that I cannot say, ah, and I cannot open the mouth. Or I cannot put my tongue up or down. I cannot tell this, uh, pronounce this letter. Uh, this way, uh, you will be the best learner. And uh, you can uh, excel and learn the language soon. And not only Russian, any language, if, you, if it comes uh, to you, you will be uh, taking it as a platter and then delivering it, uh, like speaking it fluently. Uh, uh, there are few things which uh, some people are uh, may have difficulty in uh, pronouncing, but that also can be overcome um, when you uh, start learning a foreign language. And uh, Russian is no exception. Even uh, I could uh, make a person who was stammering uh, and uh, he could learn and Russian to speak. And he speaks Russian fluently. When it comes to his mother tongue, again, he stammers. But when it comes to Russian, there is no problem. He speaks it fluently. So the, that's a living example I had uh, found during my teaching years. I've been teaching uh, off and on. Uh, like, uh, And I, I'm a translator, interpreter, teacher. And not only Russian, but I, I used to teach or uh, give tuitions to many, uh, being a distant mode learner. And I think uh, learners uh, should feel comfortable with me. And in case of any queries or you don't understand, uh, you can always uh, ask. Or uh, as this would be a Google Meet, I understand uh, platform. You can always put your question in the chat box. I will keep checking the uh, questions. Or we can have the counseling, uh, the uh, part which I would like to tell you uh, for each unit of your uh, material and then you can uh, take in uh, write the question there for each unit or block one or block two or whichever unit uh, or whatever doubts you have in the chat box and then we can take it at the end of the session the session is for two hours so maybe one hour uh, my contribution and the other hour your contribution you can also try uh, experimenting how you can tell uh, and uh, tell the words which you have in the unit and or phrases or sentences or a big paragraph you can uh, we can give each one as a chance to uh, narrate from your side or to practice experiment your uh, co uh, competency i can say uh, of the language your self learning that way you will learn more uh, and that's all i, I have uh, for now, thanks, thanks, sir, for giving me this opportunity for uh, taking as a uh, taking the responsibility as a counselor. Thank you so much, madam. Uh, thanks for your valuable words.
and dear students uh, as our other experts also said that that learning a new language is a matter of practice as well as production you have to do a lot of practice to learn new words how to pronounce them and then the more you will produce these new learned words the more you will be an expert of this new language so this is the key words in learning new languages more and more practice as well as producing these words as and when you get an opportunity to talk to any expert uh, next i would like to invite dr manisha jha uh, she is our ex uh, expert and our expert in academic counselor of rural development program uh, madam uh, dr manisha jha Dr. Manisha Jha, please. Her name is appearing in the list of participants. Dr. Manisha Jha. We have two academic counselors in our CRD program. Dr. Manisha Jha. and dr shaini bhardwaj i could not see the name of dr shaini bhardwaj in the list of participants but name of dr manisha jha is appearing there madam are you there uh okay i think that uh, she is not able to uh, hear us so uh, dear students uh, these were the brief presentations of our program coordinators and today we had the presentations by dr vikas kumar singh uh, he deals with spanish language dr mohammad salim he deals with arabic language dr shivaji bhaskar who deals with russian language and dr balkar singh who is our program coordinator of rural development programs and we had introduction with our few academic counselors as well now uh, we would like to interact with our students and we would like to listen to your queries kindly be attentive and please do not repeat any query everyone is requested to be please uh, be vigilant and please pay attention because now we will be taking uh, the questions from our students one by one uh i will be inviting the students who have raised their hands and i will be uh, addressing their queries so please uh, listen to these question answers very attentively and if you find that your question has already been replied please do not repeat that question again so i am i am inviting uh, the students uh i am starting with a uh, Oshikul SK. Oshikul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, please, please raise your question. Please ask. Please switch uh, on sir, your camera and then. Please switch on your camera. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, please. Uh, sir, I have taken Arabic. अरेबिक कोर्स में एडमिशन लिया हो तो उसके लिए जो स्टडी मेटीरियल है होता है या क्लास कहां से करना होता है वो जानकारी कहां से ले सकते हैं सर जी आ, आपने एक बहुत ही वैलिड क्वेश्चन पूछा है आ, मुझे उम्मीद है कि शायद सभी स्टूडेंट्स को इग्नो हेडक्वार्टर की तरफ से एक ईमेल गया होगा जिसमें एक एल पोर्टल पर आप सभी को लॉग करने के लिए क्रेडेंशियल्स आए होंगे have you got these details yes sir very good to aapko jo study material hai wo aapko aapke lms portal pe bhi available milega aur agar kisi student ko lms portal se study material download karne mein koi problems aaye to aap hamare e gyan kosh e gyan kosh hamara ek link hai main isko abhi aapke chat box mein dal deta hu 
तो आप हमारा स्टडी मटेरियल ई ज्ञान कोश से भी डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं आ, दोनों आ, दोनों जगह पर आपको सेम स्टडी मटेरियल ही मिलेगा तो यू नीड नोट टू वरी अबाउट एनी थिंग इसका जो ई ज्ञान कोश का लिंक है ये मैंने आपके चैट बॉक्स में डाल दिया है आप इस वेबसाइट को ई ज्ञान कोश को आप विजिट करिएगा और यहाँ से आप अपना स्टडी मेटेरियल डाउनलोड कर लीजिएगा जहाँ तक आपका सेकंड क्वेश्चन है काउंसलिंग सेशंस और क्लासेस के बारे में तो इसके लिए हम आपको ईमेल से भी आपका काउंसलिंग शेड्यूल भेजेंगे बहुत जल्द काउंसलिंग शेड्यूल हमारा लगभग सभी प्रोग्राम का तैयार है और हम विद इन ए डे और टू आपका काउंसलिंग शेड्यूल आपको ई से भी भेजेंगे और एल पोर्टल पर भी हम उसको अपलोड करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो दोनों जगह से आपको काउंसलिंग क्लासेस के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगी प्लीज डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस थिंग्स इट इज आवर बिगिनिंग टूडे आज इंडक्शन मीटिंग की हेल्प से हमने एक शुरुआत किया है और बहुत जल्दी ही हम आपके साथ बाकी सारी रेलिवेंट डिटेल्स टाइम टू टाइम हम आपके साथ शेयर करते रहेंगे यू नीड नॉट टू वरी अबाउट एनी थिंग ओके इज इट ओके ओके थैंक यू सो मच नाउ आई एम इनवाइटिंग पुष्प शर्मा पुष्प शर्मा यस थैंक यू वेरी मच सर यस यस आई एम देयर सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक सर जॉइन फॉर दी दी फ्रेंच दी फ्रेंच लैंग सभी आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल स्टूडेंट्स that when it is your turn and if you are asking any question kindly switch on your camera at that time please switch on your camera when you are asking your question yes now you are visible yes now please ask okay uh, okay uh, thank you very much sir and uh, uh, i have enrolled for the french language course uh i had basically three questions one question is asked about the counseling uh, counseling schedule that you said sir that you will be sharing with us soon the yes. another question i have is regarding the uh, the course duration that is we have enrolled for the january 22 session so this course duration is from when to when like uh, when we are going to have our exams so that is the uh, the the first query uh, the second query is uh, the uh, when i have registered on the lms portal uh the uh, dates of the assignments is on 30th of april as per the lms calendar so we have just got the information enrollment in april uh, maybe close to 6 7 and now we are having the uh, the assignments on 30th and the assignments are for both the uh, both the courses there are about 17 odd assignments so i think the time is very short for that and uh, the third information i want to have is regarding the the projects is there any project uh, in this uh, in this course and if yes then you know when we don't have any information regarding that and when we are going to have our final uh, exams like sir yes a uh, very good question and uh, dear students you please all listen to me very carefully uh, i am going to share my screen uh, which i have prepared a few days ago for you all Uh, please uh, pay your full attention on this and please let me know when you uh, watch my screen uh, is it visible to you all okay. yes sir it is visible now yes, yes sir, no no it's visible uh, it is general road map of certificate level programs now uh, your first query was uh, how much uh, duration your the certificate level program has Uh, as you all know yes, that you you all are learners of January twenty twenty two admission session, right? Yes. Sir. Yes. So so your certificate level program it has the duration of minimum six months and maximum two years. So in the first box you can see I have mentioned here first six months for the January twenty two session students. Now. it says assignment submission this is general date 31st march was the general admission uh, sorry uh, general date of assignment submission but presently presently the university has extended this date of submission of assignment up to 15th of may so you please don't worry you have time up to 15th of may okay okay sir 
now second question regarding examinations your term and examinations will be conducted most probably in june 2022 if everything goes fine and if we do not face any uh, any problem like uh, pandemic or corona or something like that if we do not face any such restrictions once again then most probably your term and examinations will be conducted by the university in forthcoming june fine okay now second six months if any student is not able to complete any course in june 2022 session then you will enter second six month duration in this second six month duration you you may you may call it uh, although although it is not a right term for certificate level programs but generally we call it a semester although you are not a student of semester based program but second second six month duration then you will be submitting your assignment up to 30th of september you will submit your exam form up to 30th of september and you will be appearing in your term and examination which will be conducted by the university in december 2022 is it clear now by the help of this slide yes sir yes sir yes sir. it's it's clear now so you are a you are a student of january 22 and please see the bottom of this slide your admission validity will end in december 2023 complete 2 years you have got complete 2 years okay okay sir okay sir so you please don't worry about anything please don't worry about anything i think now uh, your sir. queries are uh, your queries are uh, uh, replied by very satisfactory only yes, one please. thing oh Uh, one thing is left regarding the project do we have any project uh, in this particular course uh you are a student of i'm a student of the uh, the russian language sir russian language c r u l oh uh, yes sir just wait a minute i will i will just uh, share my screen once again although you can yourself also check this thing in our common prospectus but but let me let me uh, share my screen and let me clear it to all the students of russian language please confirm when you uh, see my screen is it visible oh yes okay now you can see the details of your certificate in russian language this program is offered by school of foreign language and you have just only two courses communication skills part 1 and communication skills part 2 and dr shivaji bhaskar is your program coordinator his email address is here and his landline intercom number is there 1640 okay. you have you have only theory courses you do not have any project here all right right sir as far as i understand this you have two two courses but you can do one more thing just just uh, please hold on for a minute e gyan kosh c r u l e gyan kosh c r u l are you are you able to see my screen yes sir yes sir c r u l i have taken you to this e gyan kosh link of your c r u l program and here you can see your program guide when you will okay. click this program guide you will be able to download the pdf of your program guide this is a way through which students of other programs also can download your study material as well as your program guide 
so this is the program guide of your c r u l program you can see certificate in russian language program guide okay. now you can okay. you can okay. go on that part where the courses have been explained course titles communication skills part 001 communication skills 2 002 Excuse me, sir. Can you please show for Spanish course two? So, uh, so uh, I request all the uh, Russian language learners that this way, this way, you please download your program guide and please go through all the details given here. I think that. Uh, uh, both of these programs your syllabus it consists of two courses uh, your yes. your first course your first course is communication skills it will be provided to you in print here you can see it and here uh, your second course it is communication skills it also consists of eight credits and here you will deal with audio and visual components so there is no project component all right sir right right so this right. way this way uh, i request you to please download your uh, program guide and go through it sir so right. just uh, just to uh, just to add on you you have you have given very valuable information just to uh, just to clarify sir uh, like suppose if i uh, you have shown the four uh, semesters kind of thing so suppose if i if i don't uh, submit the assignments now and i don't give the exams now do i automatically get uh, switch rolled on to the next one yeah uh, actually next this is another or do i have to do some action from my side yeah yeah this is this is another good question and dear students you all should note it that that you have got admission in your respective program by paying the admission fees okay you paid the admission fees and you got admitted in your respective certificate level program now this admission fees is valid till 2 years if you skip first semester then you will be automatically entered into second semester you need not to pay this admission fees once again thank you sir thank the you only thing, the only thing is that the only thing is that say for example you have two courses in your certificate and you appear in exam in only one course and your second course you plan to appear in the examination of your second course in the forthcoming december examination then you will be required to fill your examination form and you will be required to pay the exam fees of only that course admission fees your admission fees is valid for these complete 2 years okay sir okay sir right yes all right thank you so whenever 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 you will be planning to appear in the term and examinations then you will be fulfilling the online exam form and you will be paying only the examination fees course fees which is 150 rupees perhaps per course at present thank you sir thank you sir right thank you thank you, thank you very much thank you very much thank you i think that uh, these are the common questions and these answers are relevant to each one of us yes thank yes. you thank you so much so uh, now i invite uh, uh, seema yes seema madam please uh, namaste sir most namaste, of my sir. questions were uh, uh, answered by the earlier questions asked by the students i would just like to express uh, thanks to all the academic counselors and experts they have given uh, such good explanation and they have generated interest already interest in the in learning the language and uh, we can sail through very nicely i feel uh, i just want to express thanks and hope uh, everything goes on well and uh, at least before 2023 uh, 
uh, will be uh, able to converse in the language properly with the natives so uh, we can yes, bridge the divide because the language is a thing which universally uh, connects people with each and every person as they say that uh, the whole world is our family so yes, hopefully yes. we learn one more language and uh, we at least go outside of india and we can connect with the natives and other people also so many yes, thanks sure. to you and many thanks to vikas sir thank you so much thank you so much our best wishes are with you all thank you so much thank you. now i would like to invite uh, shatta uh, shantanu shantanu please Yes, class. Yes, sir. Very good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, yes sir. My please. question is that uh, I didn't receive that e-portal link, that e-gyan link, and I could not get my assignments. That what all I have to do, and where I have to upload that, and where I have to send that assignment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, could you please write us for the Spanish course? I have enrolled for the Spanish course. Okay. Okay. Uh, you you can please do one thing. I am I am giving you one email address. uh please give me some time yeah sure sir sure the so, uh one more request i request amrit sir and vikas sir to kindly join the whatsapp group for the spanish learners so it would be helpful for for the communication with you sir uh, uh, the whatsapp link is already pasted in the chat box kindly join that i am already there in the whatsapp whatsapp group yeah sir uh, please send hi so that uh, i can make you go to admin there i be so please send hi there so that i can make you the group admin here there and i also request vikas sir to join the group uh just a minute uh, dear students i am giving you one uh, email address in the chat box uh, please please check the chat box it is a coe dot office at the rate igno dot ac dot in and second email id is iop sport at the rate igno online dot ac dot in these two email ids are for all those students who are facing any type of problem regarding lms portal if you have not got the credentials please send an email at these two email addresses using your that email address which you used at the time of admission these days everyone is having 2 3 4 5 6 email addresses please note it down that now in future whenever communicating with the university kindly use only that email address which you used at the time of getting enrolled getting admission in the university and if you are facing any problem regarding uh, your user id your password lms portal then you can please send your email giving your complete details your program code your mobile number 
and your enrollment number. These three details are minimum. Your program code, your enrollment number, and your mobile number. Then you can raise your query and you can share your problem which you are facing with the authorities. Kindly send an email at these two email addresses. And your problem will be resolved within uh, two, three days maximum. Right, Shantanu, is it okay? Yes, I got it. Yes, sir. I got it. Thanks a lot, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. You are most welcome. Uh, next, I am inviting uh, Chitraksha. Chitraksha. I am sorry if yes. I am uh, yes. yes, uh, the name uh, wrongly. Uh, Chitraksha. Yes, sir. So, uh, yes, actually, I got the mail regarding uh, uh, Spanish uh, e portal, LMS portal, and the default password. I'm trying to log in. But I'm not able to. Even I tried with a forgot password, so I'm not able because in the same email ID, I am involved with Spanish, uh, sorry, Russian and Arabic, January, July 2020 session, and uh, in the same yes. LMS platform, I got the both thing, Arabic and Russian. But now in the with the C Spanish, I'm not getting that LMS portal. Uh, no problem. Uh, as I just replied to Mr. Shantanu. Uh, please Sir, give your I have uh, in, I have emailed uh, that mm -hmm. uh, dot igno uh, email, but uh, mm -hmm. I got no reply yet. And it's been one day. Uh, actually, yes, uh, actually, uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, at regional center uh, we do not have any control on the LMS portal. Okay, sir. Thank you. We cannot uh, we cannot uh, help you uh, regarding uh, resetting your password or any other issue. On the LMS okay. portal, okay. yes. Uh, only, only this is COE Center for Online Education mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. IOP IOP IGNU Online Programs Support. These two email addresses only, only those technical persons are using these email addresses who have the authority to reset your password or provide you the required support. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, at this regional center, uh, on behalf of IGNO, at this regional center, uh, we are here to provide you academic counseling sessions and academic counseling support. We are here to arrange your counseling sessions only. We do not have technical expertise to reset your password or to do anything else on your LMS portal. Sir, do I get any number so I, I can contact uh, the technical uh, support? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, I don't have any such number. Only email, only email. We also uh, communicate with them only email. But but please do not worry. I will I will uh, I will do something regarding this thing. I will is it do. Because please I'm wait. already enrolled in Russian and Arabic. Is it because of that I'm not able to log in in a Spanish uh, LMS portal? Uh, yeah, please, please, please wait for a day or two. Uh, I will do something for you people. Please wait for a day. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, next, I'm inviting uh, Rijwana. Hello, sir. Sir, actually, I had the same problem uh, with LMS. I had uh, enrolled for master's also with the same uh, email ID. So I'm not able to log in. I'm not able to get I, anything regarding this Arabic language. Yes, dear Rijwana, my reply to you also is the same. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so please please okay. wait for a day or two. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Rashdi. Mr. Rashdi Rashid. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, madam. I'm sorry. I, I, hello, I, hello, yes, hello. yes, madam, yes, please. Am I audible now? Yes, you are audible. Yes, please. Sir, I wanted to ask that the assignment for online course in Arabic has been uploaded for, for the year 2021 only. Find the assignment for the year 2022 in online mode. It has only been uploaded for distance learners, the Arabic course assignment. So, sir, with I have to, uh, sir, I have to make the assignment on the twenty twenty one year, or sir, because the assignment for the twenty twenty two session has not been has not been uploaded. So, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, my reply uh, again applies to all the students. 
uh, you please wait for a day or two uh, we will get this information from our respective program coordinators about the assignments so yes so please the last date for the submission of assignment was 15th april and it has also now been passed is, so now it is now it is 15th may Okay, so answer the uh, where where do we have to submit the assignments? We will we will inform you. We will inform you very soon. Please wait for for some time. Please wait for some. The answer time. the Go program ahead. coordinator has also not made the WhatsApp group, so in that concern, I was also. Yes, uh, let me tell you that uh, all program coordinators do not make the WhatsApp groups because of some uh, some uh, administrative issues. some discipline related matters so uh, generally generally program coordinators do not uh, make whatsapp groups because then they will be held responsible if something wrong goes so we encourage our students to uh, you can you can have your own whatsapp groups with your friend circle we do not interfere in that okay sir yes thank you thank, thank you. you thank you so much thank you uh, we know we know v i n o very good evening sir good evening please switch on your camera yes please yes, yes sir sir my query is not about uh, this academic section previously 2020 jan uh, i had uh, enrolled for the same program through online mode and also i had successfully completed my assignments and what the instruction i was received at the time during the time of pandemic i have received one sms so i did uh, sent a uh, soft copy of my assignment to that concerned mail id uh, and also i i had appeared for the payment examination as well but uh, i had cleared the examination to the to all the two papers but uh, my internals was not up, uh, updated yet to now so i don't know where, what is the uh, exact base i need to uh, address my con, uh, problem uh, at the same time sir i have one, one more query sir uh if you, if you wish i can share my screen because i can show you uh, my the grade card status sir can i share please you please you please tell me which one was your regional center sir uh, well, uh, yes sir yes sir i can show you sir please sir one minute please tell me please tell me your name name of your rc uh sir uh, uh regional center uh center for online education sir center for online education then you can also send your email at that email address which i just posted in the chat box yes sir i did uh, yes, I, i already sent the mail so uh, when i seen your uh, response from the response tab so uh, can i expect that uh, from uh, whether it is possible to update my internal sir uh, your your this question is very difficult for me Uh, sir, because i have last two years almost two years i am roaming there and there but i did not get where i have to address my problem you are this are uh, perhaps i think that i am not the right person to reply you on this question how can i how can yes, i help you how, yes, how can i sir, sorry sir i can get your situation sir but uh, almost two years i am roaming here and there but i did not get where i need to address my problem and where I, from where i can get the remedy i don't know sir i am i am giving you i am giving you one email address you please send your email at that address giving your complete details okay yes sir and also i forward the mail to you also sir uh, rc delhi one at ignore that now i am giving you one email address Yes, sir. And I am hopeful that you will, you will get help from this email address. Yes, thank you, sir. This is this is S S C. This yes, is S S C at the rate ignore dot sc dot in. Yes, sir. I I, I got it, sir. Yes. Uh, next, I am inviting uh, uh, Amna Iqbal. So thank you so much. Happy to speak with you, sir. Yeah, yeah. You are most welcome. We are always here to support you. Please don't worry. please do not worry about anything we are we are today today from from today onwards we will be in touch regular touch yes yes thank you sir thank you so much yes uh, yes miss amna iqbal yes please so it's amna so it's um Am amna yes sir uh, okay okay i'm sorry sorry for my wrong pronunciation 
it's okay sir it's okay so i wanted to ask i have an ios system i have an apple iphone and the both uh, e student app and the, and the e learning app is not available on ios so would it be a problem for learning no no problem no problem because now you all online learners are being shifted to lms portal okay and sir i don't think uh, i checked my email and i don't think i got the email for login in uh, it uh, so can you send me my reply email? to my my reply to you also is the same okay. please send your email to those two email addresses okay sir okay thank yes. you and and in your email please do not forget to give your basic details like your program code your enrollment number etc okay thank you sir yeah yeah and and please use only that email address which you used at the time of your admission yes sir i am using that email okay okay my best wishes thank you next i am inviting mr mohammad arif Yes, sir. Mr. Muhammad Ali. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I I just wanted to uh, share that I have made a WhatsApp group uh, for the Arabic learners. Uh, you can join the group. Uh, please use the second link which I have sent in the uh, WhatsApp uh, in the ch chat box because the in the first link uh, by mistake I have sent uh, some other form. So uh, uh, the group I have just made and I have uh, shared on the chat. so that uh, the arabic learners can uh, can some con conversation on the whatsapp group to learn the language thank you thank you mr mohammad arif thank you so much uh, next i am inviting kajal rastogi kajal rastogi are you there Uh, am i audible uh, yes you are audible uh, yes sir so, i am enrolled for english language program yeah. or and just some audio tracks uh, then e content but i could not found in e ko e gyan kosh okay you please do not worry uh, all the online learners of all the certificate level programs you please do not worry Uh, for you people i will try to find out the available resources and i will send you the links of those resources please please wait for a uh, for a day or two please give me some time okay okay sir thank you okay thank you uh, yes now last student uh, who has raised her hand uh, so me it is me yeah So I have one yes, more question. I uh, will be get a recording of the classes as I am working, so it's very hard sometimes to join the classes. Yes, of course. Yes, uh, to all the students, this is a very good news from our side. Uh, after the counseling sessions are conducted, uh, we will try to upload the recordings of these sessions on our YouTube channel of Regional Center Delhi One. Uh, i am giving you the link of our rc youtube channel uh, in the chat box you all kindly uh, visit this youtube channel and please subscribe it we will be uploading your recordings at our this uh, youtube channel on our this youtube channel uh, the students of spanish language can find the recordings of july 2021 session we have already uploaded those recording of spanish language program of july 2021 these are available in the playlist at our this rc youtube channel okay thank so you so much sir yes we will be providing you all required support please do not worry about anything okay so actually because of this only i was not able to carry with my arabic language i somehow managed with russian certificate but i was not able to carry with arabic so that that's why i wanted to know this thank you so much yes yes we will we will provide you all the recordings okay thank you so much and and i am happy to know about you 
that uh, you are our student of so many programs uh, yeah. in the past. Yeah, I also. want to show this gratitude because of you uh, and Ignu because of that. I'm able to pursue with my hobby. It is my hobby to learn new languages. And then being working, being a married woman, it is possible for me to join all the courses and getting knowledge and with certificate course. Thank you so much. Yes, good. Thank you so much. Actually, it is your motivation which motivates us to provide you our best student support services. If you are motivated, if 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 you are motivated, and if you want to learn, only then our efforts will be successful. It cannot be one way. Only we yes, are providing yes. you support. Only we are providing you. Only we are providing you. But if the learners are not receiving anything, if the learners are not gaining anything, then yes. one day we yes. also we also get demotivated. So I if you are the mentor, yes, yes, sir. Even that's your language. Shivaji sir was very great mentor. He was very great yes. teacher at a very good yes. time. And I really hope mm -hmm. Vikas sir will teach me at the same way. Yes, 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 Thank yes. You. Good. That is so good. That is so good. Uh, please keep yourself highly motivated all the times. It is in our own hands. We can keep yes. ourselves motivated at all times. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank so, uh, dear students, uh, no more hands are uh, seen uh, raised. Uh, yes. Uh, Shivangi, Shivangi Verma. Yes. This is the yes, last sir. question of the day. Last question of the day by Shivangi. Yes, please. Sir, actually, I want to know that uh, uh, many students who leave the meeting, so how we can get the WhatsApp link of Spanish or other language courses? Uh, yes, uh, I once again uh, would like to repeat it that uh, uh, regional center, uh, we do not uh, uh, form any type of WhatsApp group because then it will be our responsibility. And these days, the government is very strict. They just simply come and catch the admin of that WhatsApp group. Okay, so, so, uh, so we have we have lots so many responsibilities on our shoulders. We we do not want to increase one more responsibility of creating WhatsApp group with the students. So, but but the students they can they can form their own groups and they can they can join whatsoever groups they want. So we do not we do not involve ourselves in this type of a very sensitive task but we will be providing you all required support from our side either through emails or by conducting uh, these types of google meetings from time to time uh, with our students we will be in touch with you always please do not worry okay sir thank you and and you can you can ask your respective academic counselor during the counseling sessions very soon we start your counseling sessions then you can ask your academic counselor if they want to form any whatsapp group uh, we do not we do not stop anyone academic counselors if they want to make one like like uh, uh, dr balkar singh dr balkar yes. singh he is very he is very positive uh, he is our teacher of rural development programs so he is very positive in forming whatsapp groups so uh, so you may find uh, some teachers uh, who will form whatsapp groups and uh, you can you can join those groups thank you sir thank you so much thank you dear students and uh, now uh, we are coming towards the end of our this today's induction meeting and uh, i uh, i am proposing the vote of thanks uh, from the uh, from uh, on on behalf of our igno regional center delhi one and on my own behalf also uh, myself, uh, Dr. Ashok Sharma, as I told you in the beginning also, uh, I am regional director here at IGNU RC Delhi 1. And it becomes my duty and my responsibility to thank our authorities, our Honorable Vice-Chancellor Sir, our Pro-Vice-Chancellor, uh, our Pro-Vice-Chancellor Sirs and Madams, and our Director RSD Sir, who, who had and who have full trust in our regional center Delhi one and they gave us the responsibility they entrusted the responsibility in us to conduct the academic sessions academic counseling sessions and provide academic counseling support to the online learners of total 10 online programs and i would 
like to share the data with you that in these 10 online programs we have total 910 learners in total 910 learners in 10 different online programs just like your certificate level programs so we are thankful to our authorities that they have full faith in our capabilities and immediately when we got your data we planned the academic counseling sessions for you and for this i requested our program coordinators and out of five program coordinators of five programs today we were able to have the interaction with four program coordinators dr vikas kumar singh dr mohammad salim uh, dr shivaji bhaskar and dr balkar singh and we are thankful to all of them and then our academic counselors also mr mayank was there in this meeting with us mr amrit raj dr mohammad salim mr mani bhushan sharma dr janani madam dr manisha jha was also there in this group but uh, i don't know what technical problem she had faced that she could not come and she could not interact with our students so i am thankful to our academic counselors also and dear students uh, these are our academic counselors who will be there with you all throughout your academic counseling sessions from a to z they will be teaching you they will be guiding you they will be mentoring you so you please you all are requested to please get full advantage of the expertise of our academic counselors they are the best academic counselors in the field and they are going to turn each and every stone on this earth for your benefit they will leave no stone unturned they will be guiding you they will be supporting you they will be counseling you they will be mentoring you and they will be doing lot 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 of hard work for you and in turn you all are also requested to please dedicate your full time and energy if you will dedicate your full time and energy and if you will show your full interest only then you will learn new languages and you will learn whatsoever is contained there in your respective certificate level programs so i am hopeful that you all are going to get the full advantage of the expertise of our academic counselors and i am very happy to see that our french language expert mr mani bhushan sharma he is still here with us till the end of this program janani madam thank you so much sir. thank you so much sir thank you thank you sir thank you and janani madam is also uh, dr thank balkar you. dr balkar thank singh you, sir. i i can i can see now now dr balkar singh he has switched on his camera also thank you dr sir thank you for being with us throughout this industry meeting thank, thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank, thank you. you thank you madam and and uh, dear students uh, actually this program was meant for you you all are our very esteemed learners and our these programs our these programs will have no meaning if we will no if we will not be having any learners it is our learners only for whom we are doing this so the full credit the full credit goes to our learners also you have full faith in us you are getting enrolled in our igno programs and you are bringing more learners also in our igno programs i meet many learners who tell us who share their experiences that sir i did this program from your university and then i motivated my four other learner students also to get enrolled in igno so you are our ambassadors you students are our um, our ambassadors and you are motivating other persons in the field your further friend circle your relatives and your family members also many a time many a time we meet many learners who come there uh, who come to meet us uh, with with their family members also 
that sir i got my mother enrolled in your this program i got my father enrolled in your this program and dear learners let me tell you that in ignu we do not have we do not have any age bar even we have learners in our ignu programs who are having 90 years plus age it's so yes. great to hear yes this is this is true and in our in our convocation in 2020 if i will find the uh, profile i will share that with you in our uh, further uh, interaction in our 2020 convocation at our convocation function we honored one learner who was at that time in 2020 he was 93 years old we invited him specially and we honored him and he was so old that he had his family members with him to the convocation hall his family members they took him to the podium and we all regional directors we honored him actually we felt honored having such students it was not a way, who who are we to honor him actually his his presence made us feel honored that we are so lucky to have such type of learners 90 years old learner we all were thrilled to have him in our convocation function and we all felt honored so dear students this is your show dear students this is your university and dear students only because of you we all are here so my full gratitude to you that only because of you people we are here so this is your show this was your show and this induction meeting was conducted only for you people and i am so thankful to you all that still uh, about 40 students are here with us in this induction meeting till the end of this induction meeting today i am so thankful to you i am grateful to you and at the end i am also grateful to my regional center colleagues also uh, who helped me uh, in the successful conduct of uh, this uh, induction meeting for our learners of online program at a very short notice i requested my colleagues uh, mr sonu mr ajit mr sandeep mr satpal i requested them at a very short notice that we are running short of time these are our certificate level learners of january batch and they have to appear in their exams in june so we are running short of time we do not have much time and we have to plan their induction meeting immediately so that after this induction meeting we can start organizing their counseling sessions also so at a very short notice my regional center colleagues they organized this program and i am thankful to my colleagues mr sonu mr satpal mr sandeep mr ajit my team that it is it is their support because of which i was able to conduct this meeting at a very short notice so successfully so my thanks goes to you all once again my best wishes are there with you and my promises are also there with you that we are here to provide you support at each and every step of your academic journey and very soon i will be sharing uh, some google form link to uh, to have uh, information about various problems which you are facing so that we may be able to resolve those issues so uh, with these uh, words i once again thank you uh, my program coordinators my academic counselors and my dear students and my rc team thank you thank you one and all thank you so much god bless you all thank you so much thank you sir thank you so thank you thank you thank you sir 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 thank you thank you so much uh, you. at the end at the end, at the end if if any one student if if any one student if if you want to share your feedback thank about you so this much, sir induction meeting thank you sir thank you sir any one student only one student for sharing feedback about our this two days induction meeting
गुड आफ्टरनून सर यस सर कैन आई यस सर कैन आई यस 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 रितिक यस प्लीज यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम यस सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर दिस इंट्रोडक्शन मीटिंग इट वाज रियली गुड एक्सपीरियंस एंड मोर ओवर दैट टू इन ऑनलाइन मोड इट वाज बियॉन्ड एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट मच अटेंशन विल बी गिवन to each and every query of we students so it was a wonderful experience sir uh, moreover in the even in the end uh, around 40 students were present so i am sure that it is going to be very productive course sir yes yes thank you thank you ritik yes. thank you so much thanks for your thank kind you, words and your feedback so uh one more hand is raised by uh, manreet nagpal yes please mr manreet yes please 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 uh, switch on uh, yes uh, sir thank uh, thank you giving us a platform where we have all uh, uh, have been get together uh, I, i have enrolled for a uh, sir french language course uh, somehow uh, deepan ji is not available here uh, he, earlier when we have registered for this course from that to to today we were really nervous and we were really uh, uh, i cannot explain that feeling that we were something like somewhere lost so to, to uh, in the today session you have uh, given us a very uh, good thought that we are together and we will help you always and uh, this makes us uh, really proud sir that we have uh, chosen uh, ignu as a platform to learn a second language plus the fa faculty uh, faculty was already very positive for us uh, and this uh, this will boost our uh, uh, enigma or you can say our spirit to achieve the target where we uh, what we have to achieve thank you sir yes uh, thank you thank you mr manreet and as i told you that uh, as i told you uh, we tried uh, to uh, get uh, dr dipanvita madam also in our this meeting but uh, uh, actually uh, she was in some interview at uh, ignu headquarters so she could not spare time but but we are thankful that uh, our academic counselor of uh, french language mr mani bhushan sharma he is uh, still here with us till this last minute of our this induction meeting uh, you can see his name on the screen he is with us so uh, he is representing uh, uh, madam dipanvita also so he is representing himself as well as dr dipanvita shrivastava madam also so uh, we are we all are with you dear students we all are with you and and secondly sir you you uh, you haven't uh, told us that how many uh, students have enrolled in french french 42 42 thank you sir thank you so much yeah 42 students are there in french language yes okay last shivangi is last uh, query last question last comment shivangi sir actually please. sir i will very grateful you that uh, the session was so good and it is only possible because of you and the uh, mentors as you earlier said that the learner is 93 age uh, learner so uh, this is only possible because of your teachers you have given us such inspiration to students so that they can uh, complete their program otherwise many of them left the meetings or many of them left the courses yes yes actually it depends on you it depends on individual students sir individual student and also the individual teachers and their participation <laughs> yes 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 if please. teacher is not interesting to student about the studies so how the student get uh, motivate from them and get uh, doing the things yes yes thank you thank you for your kind words and uh, it is our duty we are simply performing our duty uh, and it becomes our moral duty our our official duty and and whatsoever we can say it but uh, but we enjoy in performing our duty Uh, you might have uh, seen it that that i am regional director and i am single handedly uh, conducting this meeting uh, since 4 pm uh, uh, i have not i have not uh, uh, engaged my other colleagues in this uh, meeting uh, they are doing their uh, respective jobs they are they are busy in their respective assignments and i am single handedly uh, with the help of my uh, three four other colleagues uh, uh, who are Uh, helping me in the background of the conduct of this meeting 
so uh, we are enjoying our work we are enjoying interacting our learners we are enjoying providing you uh, all types of sport services and whatsoever facilities we have uh, we are offering you all our facilities and all our services to you so you are always most welcome any time uh, if you want to uh, visit regional center uh, our office is at mohan estate you can come any time and meet us so uh, with uh, all these things uh, uh, i think that uh, we have to now now we have to stop at this point of time uh, otherwise uh, now it is 6 pm uh, but uh, it will it will be 7 pm 8 pm 9 pm neither you would like to go nor myself i will also not like to go and i will also not like to leave this meeting but but uh, we all have to follow the uh, time limits and time constraints so at the end of this induction meeting i once again uh, pay my gratitude to my program coordinators my academic counselors my dear students and my regional center colleagues for the wonderful organization of this induction meeting and my best wishes and my blessings to my dear students and we will be in touch and we will be uploading the uh, recording of this induction meeting also on our youtube channel if you want to see the recording of this induction meeting also uh, within a day or two we will be uploading the recording of this induction meeting also on our youtube channel so please uh, uh, subscribe our youtube channel and please uh, watch the uh, this this uh, recording also as well as our future sessions also if you skip because of some uncontrollable circumstances uh, sometimes some circumstances take place which are beyond our control and if you skip any lesson if you skip any session please do not worry we will be providing you the recordings of all the sessions which we will be organizing so you need not to worry about anything and uh, uh, very soon i will make some platform uh, through that platform and and already already i shared one uh, google form link with you all and i am getting the queries on that google form link and we can use that google form uh, for interaction for sharing uh, your feedback your views your opinions and your experiences with us so uh, very soon uh, i think that uh, uh, in may uh, in next month next month may 2022 uh, i will again conduct one special google meeting with you all to listen to your experiences and to listen to your queries and your feedback and to helping you and providing you all the required support from our side uh, next month again we will conduct one google meeting session uh any day in the evening hours so that maximum of you can join that google meeting so uh, this is all from our side dear students and i am so thankful to you all that uh, at this uh, minute uh, 25 persons are with me and thanks thanks to all of you uh, my best wishes and my blessings to all of you thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much Thank you so thank much, you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for this session with you all. Thanks, thanks for all so the great work. Thank, thank you so much.